Derek from the Olive Oil Co. And today we're making pomegranate chickpea curry. For the month of May 2020, this is our flavor of the month, the pomegranate dark balsamic. It is 15% off. It's a beautiful balsamic for dressings, for meats, and you're going to see how we're going to use this tonight. If you're like me, I love the warm flavors of a curry. This recipe calls for two medium onions diced, as well as two cups of chickpeas cooked. What's nice about this recipe is you can put all your spices into one spot, makes it really nice and easy. For this, we have one teaspoon ginger powder, half teaspoon cumin, half teaspoon allspice, half teaspoon cinnamon, two tablespoons of curry powder, we use the yellow or mild kind. We have one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon turmeric powder, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. So first you want to reduce about a quarter cup of pomegranate dark balsamic. It's nice to get this done first so that when we get to the real cooking, we can just add it right in. And the key is to make sure you keep an eye on this so that it doesn't burn on you. So you just want to keep stirring until it's about half the amount. Essentially what we're making is pomegranate molasses, which is used in a lot of Mediterranean cuisine. It's been about five to 10 minutes on medium heat. As you can see, it's got nice and thick to the point where if I run my spoon through it, it takes a little bit for it to get back into position. So we are pretty much almost done with this. To start, we're using the Piquol Extra Virgin Olive Oil from Chile. It's a beautiful medium intensity olive oil. You can actually find that on our website. It is 15% off right now. First, you just want to get it the uh, bottom of your pan coated because we're going to cook our onions in that. So as you can see the onions are getting nice and opaque. The next thing you want to do is add all your spices and toast them for about a minute or until they get nice and fragrant. Spices in there. Oh, yeah. Salt and pepper. Mm. Almost instant. You get all those nice warm smells. And you want to add your two cups of chickpeas to the mix. Now's the point when you want to add the molasses. See it just dripping down. So we've also added a cup of water to this uh, just to keep it more saucy. Uh, if you want, you can also use veggie stock. We're just going to add another quick drizzle of this pomegranate balsamic just to really bring that pomegranate flavor through. And this is optional, but you can put in about, uh, we're doing quarter cup pomegranate seeds. Give it a little bit of color. So we've served this with some rice and some non bread. Obviously you can do whatever side you want if you want to go gluten free. Let's give her a try. Mm, right away. You get the mesh together of the warm flavors. You get that sweetness of the pomegranate. Might be a new way we do curry for a long time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Uh, I need different socks. <laughs> What's nice about this, man, my voice is going weird.
Derek, no. <laughs> now we're just gonna add another. It's Derek from the All Oil Co. And this is my masterclass.